Welcome back to Jesus Calling for August 29th. Demonstrate your trust in me. Let's look at Luke 12, 22 to 26 and Ephesians 6, 12. Luke 12, 22 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Ephesians 6, 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Demonstrate your trust in me by sitting quietly in my presence. Put aside all that is waiting to be done and refuse to worry about anything. This time together strengthens you and prepares you to face whatever the day will bring. By waiting with me before you begin the day's activities, you proclaim the reality of my living presence. This act of faith, waiting before working, is noted in the spirit world, where your demonstration of trust weakens principalities and powers of darkness. The most effective way to resist evil is to draw near to me. When you need to take action, I will guide you clearly through my spirit and my word. The world is so complex and overstimulating that you can easily lose your sense of direction. Doing countless unnecessary activities will dissipate your energy. When you spend time with me, I restore your sense of direction. As you look to me for guidance, I enable you to do less but accomplish more. I like that. I'm going to back up and read this one line again. This act of faith, waiting before working, is noted in the spirit world where your demonstration of trust weakens principalities and powers of darkness. I love that, waiting before working. I really want to work on that. And praying, too, when we're in situations, sometimes we try to work it out ourselves and instead of stopping and just praying the first thing. That should be the first thing we do. But I like that when we're waiting on Him, that it, it lessens the powers and the principalities of this world. And that is awesome because all these powers are coming against us. But we can fight against all that, too, by resting in God and by trusting Him because He knows what tomorrow's going to bring. He knows what the next day and the next month and the next five years is going to bring. And so I I, instead of trusting myself, I'm going to be putting my trust in him and just resting in his presence, knowing that he has my best interest in his mind and I'm held right here in his hands. Yes, I am. You have a great day resting in him and we'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.